Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome to GTA 5 once again. So today we're on GTA Online and we're actually going to do something a little bit different. Normally we just follow the rules for the mods, whatever, but today we're going to break the rules. In a in an interesting way. That radio, I don't know what's on. We're going to go to the garage. That's not the garage, that's the bedroom. You can tell I just bought this house. I bought it so I could actually like get to the garage easily during a high spot. Anyway, this way, enter, that's what we wanted to do. So we are in my cheap car garage. I say my cheap car garage, some of these are quite expensive. I believe that's quite expensive. These are the ones that don't really, they're not supercars, basically. Uh, my other garage is like full of supercars, but this, this is what we're going to be using today. Now, normally in Rallycross, you use little hatchbacks or something, I believe. But um, I wanted to go with this thing because, well, if you haven't seen my previous video on it, I made a video on it a long time ago. You're about to fall in love with this truck. Of course, it's pissing it down. Oh, God, there's a guy there with an armored Karuma. You, every time a guy with an armored Karuma comes near you, you better run for your fucking life because you're probably about to blow up. I, I don't know what to do. I told you. What did I tell you? Could you not be a knob? Come on, please, 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 please. Where is it? Uh, enable passive mode. Oh, that's why I thought you fucking knob. No chance now. Yeah, fuck off then. You twat. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? This fellow's just throwing a bomb on it. He's legging it. There he goes. Thank you ever so much, fella. Now we just need to uh, uh, pop in here and uh, have a go. Look at that. He's not even been spooked. That's amazing. That's customer service. Anyway, <laughs> so as I said, we want to make this car into a off-roading rally car. I mean, as it is, it looks freaking awesome. So we don't really need to do much. But... You're gonna like this. If we throw this on, we get to put some stuff on that looks pretty cool. Now, I'm actually thinking of going for... I like I like the Bajar bar, but I also like the bull bars. It looks pretty pretty clean. Hmm. I'm gonna go with you, because then I'm all, a lot more aggressive. Yes, you can modify the truck bed. So let's drop down one. Look at that. Look, stance that look incredible. Amazing. Anyway, next up, we have that. That is just ridiculous. I love this so much. Uh, then we've got this, which is like literally like a, a trucky thingy. I don't know what you call them. And then we've got this, which is, I don't know. It looks pretty damn cool. It's missing half of the fenders and stuff, but it looks pretty cool. And then we've got you, which just looks amazing in itself. So uh, anyway, I'm going to keep it red. And as I said, I'm going to do the performance upgrades right now because that's basically all there is to uh, change on this car. Also, we're going to put armor because we're on GTA Online. If, you, if you're going to put something on a car, put armor on a car because otherwise you're going to die. And then we need a... Not that, not that. We need a truck horn. There we go. Custom tires and bulletproof tires because GTA Online. And I think with that... We're basically done. I don't want to tint on the car because otherwise it just makes it impossible to see in first person. But anyway, let's get out of this and let's do a rally cross event. Challenge started. Stuff your challenge. So this event is called Rally X Rattan Canyon. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out yourself. But you can use any type of car we want at all. Any settings for the weather, anything. So in the future, I might do a supercar version of this. I think it'd be cool to have a supercar rally cross. Is that, is that a thing? I don't know, but we'll make it a thing. Anyway, let's confirm and let's get into the race. Right, it is slightly wet outside, which is which is not good. But it's Rallycross. It makes it even dirtier and grittier. So this track I haven't tried prior to this, so it may be shit, but it's got a sign. That looks awesome. Already positive reviews from me. Why have we got the radio on? We can't have that on. Otherwise, YouTube will eat my face. That's what they do if, if you break copyright law. Anyway, so well, I'm not breaking it for you. Another day. It looks freaking awesome. I, I've not played GTA on the console for quite a little bit now. And, well, that was a good start. The reason for that, obviously, is because I've been doing loads and loads of mods. So I thought, why don't we go back to the OG version? I say that, we're not on the PS3. Who goes on the PS3 version? You don't get updates anymore. If you're on the PS3 version, I apologize. Or the 360 version. Either or. Anyway, so straight away, I'm really liking this course. It would be much better, I believe, for a little hatchback car. But the problem with GTA is, obviously, you can't get all-wheel drive hatchbacks, I don't believe. There's rear-wheel drive, there's front-wheel drive. I think front-wheel drive will really do best for pulling up and stuff. I think, honestly, the supercar class would do best at the Rallycross on this game, which would be pretty, pretty cool to see. Supercar Rallycross with 30 people. Yes, this track, I believe, supports 30 people, I think it is. I can't remember exactly what it is, but imagine that. It'll be amazing. 
I can't remember how many players this game supports. I really need to check. It's going to bug me all the time now. It is a very nice course, though. It is majority off-road. There was another course which was majority on-road. But that's... I don't know. I'm wondering, like, if they're actually going to do the Joker lap here. Because I don't know how the checkpoint system works on this. Or the... the uh, Che checkpoint it is checkpoint system. Um, you have to hit all of them obviously to finish the race. So maybe they've got some part where there's a shortcut and you can't take. You can take the shortcut or you can't take the shortcut. A joker lap. If you don't know what a joker lap is, basically it's a harder bit of the race that you have to take once per the race, which is it's pretty cool. But uh, apparently it's not it's not on this. This has got some really awful corners. Like they'll suddenly appear and you're like, oh sh, and then you need to. You need to not drive like a brat so you don't fall off the edge. Otherwise, you'll die and you'll, you'll kind of lose the race. It would be pretty good, interesting to see, like, with multiple people, like, just going at this course. After you've got a little bit of practice. Example that. That was, that was so many minutes wasted. <laughs> Second lap is go. So this time we should be able to get it much quicker than we did last time. Hopefully. If we're not a bit of a brat. But... <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, if we had, I think, a full lobby of these trucks, just different style trucks, some with the, the bed with the wheel on the top and some with the normal truckless thing, it would look pretty damn cool. Different colors. We should, do, we should do that at some point. If you want me to do a stream at some point where GTA PS4 players, because I'll probably play it on PS4, it's just easier for me to sort out. Um, if you haven't, by the way, join my community. So much information will be thrown at you. But if you do want to see that, um, if you want to see like a massive event with you guys, and me and Matthew and just different teams, color-based color wise, then uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I might set up a stream to do that very soon. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm actually interested in doing that idea. Attempt to whip the handbrake while in first person. It's weird because it doesn't lean into the corners like most racing games do. I don't know, it just, it feels a little bit odd. Maybe it's because of the fact that GTA is kind of meant for third person. Oh, come on, we fixed it. We didn't fix it. I think it's probably best if we stay in third person for the majority of this race. This is probably my favorite section. Just going up here. Imagine the carnage with about 20 odd people here. It would just crash and everybody would, everybody would just die. I'm dying on my own. So I imagine it would be worse with many people. Here we go. We've got to get this section right. Here we go. Here we go. Going on the inside. That's a pole. I'm climbing up the pole. That's not part of the challenge. With that, we cross the line. That was pretty damn cool i enjoyed that course as i said i'll link the map down below if you want to check it out and the truck just get it if you don't have it i made a video ages ago saying you should get it and there's a reason why i said that but anyway as i said if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys hopefully in some more gta online videos oh, Peace. Gadget.